Well, tonight, two people have finally been arrested for the deadly Galleria area robbery attempt that left an off duty Louisiana police detective dead and his friend in the hospital. Both of them dining outside the Grotto restaurant Saturday when they were shot. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf live tonight gathering details on these suspects. Matthew. Kaylin, these suspects are young, just 19 and 21 years old, and they're accused of working together for crime before. New developments in Saturday's deadly shooting at Grotto Restaurant. We have no evidence to indicate it was anything other than a robbery gone bad. 19-year-old Frederick Jackson and 21-year-old Anthony Jenkins now charged with capital murder and attempted capital murder. Authorities believe they shot and severely injured Dyron Rakolfi while killing off-duty New Orleans police detective Everett Briscoe. Everybody has to do their part, and that's my ex. Everyone, every arm, every finger of this criminal justice system, do your part and we'll have a safer city. Fox 26 uncovering these two have extensive criminal records. Mr. Jenkins, you're charged with aggravated robbery. Jenkins in court earlier this week accused of robbing someone else at gunpoint the same day as the restaurant shooting just a few blocks away near the Galleria. Brandished firearms and demanded the complainant's watch and backpack. Bail is, uh, is the thread that is unraveling uh, community safety right now and it is our desire every person up here starting with the mayor to restore order. The two alleged murderers were out on bond before the deadly restaurant shooting and they're accused of working together for crime before. He's accused of in that case of committing an aggravated robbery along with a co-defendant of a complainant who is believed to have been followed home from the Galleria area. New Orleans police tweeting, we are very thankful for the quick arrest made by Houston police. Everett Briscoe will hopefully rest easier knowing individuals involved in his death will face theirs. And tonight we're told there is a third suspect who has not been arrested. If you have any information, call police. We're live in Houston tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.